Hey YouTube, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. It's a review of the Brunton fuel cell, portable fuel cell power source and its um, electrolysis charge unit. So this is a hydrogen uh, fuel cell um, that is marketed as being able to charge your cell phone or a portable device. I didn't have much luck with these guys generating enough power to charge phones or tablets and uh, there's some other reviews uh, on these guys that came up a bit negative and they are quite finicky uh, even if you got these freshly charged hydrogen cells which I think are the coolest part of this um, this whole product is these cool little cells that you can charge up with hydrogen and you just stick them in the fuel cell screw them in and uh, the hydrogen is released and it sort of percolates through this uh, little radiator where it combines with oxygen and uh, electrons are stripped off sent through a little power supply that converts it and regulates the power to USB levels so these aren't great for phones or tablets but you might be able to do some cool uh, Arduino, low power Arduino applications with uh, powering these with a fuel cell, which is kind of neat. And then my favorite part about this that uh, I think works pretty pretty well is the uh, hydrogen uh, fuel cell charge unit. So uh, what I have here, uh, before we get to the, the, the recharge unit, I, will, I took open, uh, opened up one of these uh, fuel cells so you can see what's going on. So this is the uh, the hydrocore. It's charged with hydrogen gas and plugs into a little uh, fitting. Fitting routes into the fuel cell, and fuel cell uh, terminals are right here. It puts out about half a volt when uh, fully operational, and comes to this little switch switch mode power supply, uh, has a little transformer, some really large caps, a uh, one period cap, has this little automated solenoid that uh, uh, clicks open and sort of lets hydrogen uh, flow through the cell a little bit better, kind of a, a vent, uh, helps distribute hydrogen across the cell, and I'm going to uh, just plug in my Arduino and see if we can't get it working off of this Brunton uh, reactor fuel cell. And I'm going to lean it against the, the electrolyzer uh, charge station because it helps to have this fuel cell mounted in a uh, vertical position. So there we go, we have our fuel cell powering our little Arduino circuit. It's been programmed to uh, illuminate some LEDs. And so uh, once you uh, get this fuel cell up and running, it is good for about uh, two days of powering this Arduino, so it does last a long time, but it is a little bit finicky depending on how, uh, how well the hydrogen is able to flow through that fuel cell. So you see it in action. So one of the cooler things about this though is this electrolyzer um, recharger. So you take the hydro cores and you just screw them into this uh, recharge unit. You add distilled water and it has to be distilled if it's tap water that has minerals and uh, and it you know could clog and, and jam the, the mechanism as the electrolysis process happens. Uh, so you want to use distilled water for this and just pour it in there and takes a, has a little almost like a laptop power pack that plugs in and powers this and it will electrolyze the water. You'll see this uh, little bubbles uh, percolating up releasing oxygen. It just captures the hydrogen and it, uh, you'll hear it sort of compress the hydrogen in, into this little canister. 
So I thought this was pretty cool. So this is a, a neat, uh, neat way to uh, generate and store hydrogen uh, for other experiments. So I plan to use these hydro cores in some other interesting ways to, to generate and collect hydrogen for some other science experiments. But as far as the fuel cell goes, it isn't isn't quite ready for prime time. So I don't really recommend getting this unless you have some low power Arduino applications and you really would like to use something other than batteries. And even then, uh, you might have some reliability issues with this. But I do recommend this electrolyzer. I think it's pretty cool, and I think uh, there's some creative people out there that could do a lot of uh, interesting projects with uh, with the recharging unit and these cool little hydro cores. So if you have some cool ideas for this uh, hydro core, um, I'd be interested to hear about them. So feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.